Hey guys, Shane from Liberty Under Attack Radio here. Just wanted to uh, do a quick video uh, provide, uh, and provide you guys with the updates that I've been able to find out on the uh, situation happening in Harney County, Oregon. Things definitely escalated uh, to uh, levels we have not seen yet. With that said, uh, I, uh, I've i been looking for information, as I'm sure you guys have, and uh, the repeater effect is definitely in full force, and pretty much what that entails is uh, um, all of the uh, news outlets are picking up on the same stories, the same details, etc., etc. So I was waiting until I found this press release so that I could uh, actually have uh, information provided by the uh, FBI. So uh, I'm going to read a little, little bit of that, and I have a couple more details to share with you. Uh, but yeah, at approximately 4.25 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Tuesday, January 26, 2016, the Federal Bureau of Investigation and Oregon State Police began an enforcement action to bring into custody a number of individuals associated with the armed occupation of the Malhor National Wildlife Refuge. During that arrest, there were shots fired. One individual who was a subject of a federal probable cause arrest is deceased. We will not be releasing any information about that person pending identification by the medical examiner's office. One individual suffered non-life-threatening injuries and was transported to a local hospital for treatment. He was arrested and is currently in custody. The arrested individuals include Eamon Bundy, Ryan Bundy, Brian Cavalier, Shauna Cox, Ryan Payne, uh, <clears throat> and those arrests happened along Highway 235. And about an hour later, in a separate event, separate event Joseph Donald O'Shaughnessy was also arrested. Uh, all named defendants face a, fe a federal felony charge of conspiracy to impede officers of the United States from discharging their official duties through the use of force, intimidation, or threats in violation of Title 18, United States Code, Section 372. And uh, with that uh, federal charge comes federal minimum sensing requirements. So uh, probably at least five years, I'd imagine. I haven't looked up the actual code yet. <clears throat> but uh, nonetheless, uh, not a good deal. Uh, I guess the other update I have, to, I have to provide is I was watching uh, Pete Santilli's live stream earlier, and uh, probably about an hour and a half ago, uh, maybe a little less than that, uh, Pete Santilli was uh, actually uh, arrested, uh, detained, uh, whatever you want to call it, and uh, I guess uh, Deb and a couple others are still running the stream. It's a little intermittent. But I wanted to make sure to to let you guys know where to go for information if you're looking uh, to stay up on this study, stay update on this situation. Uh, and I'll definitely provide updates as I, as I figure them out, but... Uh, but yeah, definitely go local with this one. KTVZ and uh, KATU are uh, the two places you want to go. Um, actually, there's a couple new tweets from uh, KATU, and they're just uh, releasing stuff on the press release, just as I did. So uh, yeah, definitely stay updated with uh, with those two outlets if you're uh, looking for information, and uh, I will also provide that uh, as as I come across it. So yeah. Uh, make sure to get your information from reliable sources, and there's no need for misinformation or disinformation or anything of that nature. So, uh, so yeah, that's all I've got for you guys, and uh, I will uh, talk to you soon.